Welcome to Queenstown. I'm Chris. This is the first stop on our West Coast Tasmania Odyssey. We just got a little uplift here to the Owen Spur by the lovely people at Rome Wild. Gonna spend a few days out here on the West Coast riding the trails. So come along with us. It's gonna be a time. <laughs> How good. <laughs> Once you finish drinking in these insane views, you're faced with a choice. You can go across the Chamonix Traverse, off to my right here, which snakes across the hill and dumps you out with more choices. A blue descent called the Long Spur, which winds gently down the hill over there, or the gnarly North Owen Descent. And because nothing's quite the same without mates, I brought one with me. This is Lucy. Good morning. We're going to ride the 9.9 kilometer flow trail waterfall all the way into Queenstown. What do you reckon? Let's do it. That looks sick, fun, eh? <laughs> the waterfall trail ends with a slightly spicy switchback climb, which pops you out here at a bit of a trailhead where you have two blue looping trails behind me, and off in front, a green trail which heads into town where we're gonna go for a well-earned spot of lunch, I reckon. It wouldn't be a historic mining town without its own museum, and that's why we're gonna pop across the road here to the galley and check out some of its rich history. And that's before we check out what may be the world's most elaborate mining diorama I've ever seen. Voila. The beautiful Una Hill. It's about 45 minutes from Queenstown, about five minutes outside of Zeehan. It's the first purpose-built mountain bike trail in the west of Tasmania. It's about 5.8 kilometers in length. Starting with a nice gradual climb up through this amazing button grass plain and with views of the Heemskirk range just behind me here. It's a beauty. Climb's done at the top of the uh, descent here, and we're about to find out why the locals say, get out of your doona and ride at Una.
Tazi's got a bit of a way of spoiling you, particularly if you like a swim after your ride. We just drove over from Zian, about half an hour away, and about 20 minutes outside of Strawn is the Ocean Beach Trail. It's a short pedal along there, and that brings you out of this jam-packed beach. We're gonna try and find a place to sit down, and then we'll go for a swim, I reckon. <laughs> I've been walking around, waiting for you to shine. People passing me by. Does it feel like I belong? Trying to keep it alive on this hungry side for a better confirmation. Yeah, I'm heading for the station. It's like fake. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look real, hey. <laughs> this doesn't get much better, does it? <laughs> Tazzy just turns it on every single time. Well, it's the west coast, so you can expect some inclement weather. And last night we had a storm front move through. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to have a bit of a cruisy day on the World Heritage Cruisers Tour. <laughs> I don't have good sea legs. <laughs> I get seasick surfing. Yep, fantastic. And I think we're all set. So Lucy's just brought us into Sarah Island. It's a penal colony from 1821, operated for less than 10 years, I believe. Uh, we've arrived here for some convict content of the highest order. Bit of a rig, eh? It wasn't exactly a party island back in the day, and uh, your activities included shipbuilding, floggings, other forms of hard labor. And in the case of William Murray, he received 10 days in solitary confinement for stealing some parsley. That's a lot for some flavour. This really is a Moss Sea attraction. All right, last stop on our journey today. We're here at the Henty Dunes, just outside of Strawn, and we're gonna give sandboarding a crack. good road trips come to an end but we were passing back through Queenstown so we thought we'd come and stretch the legs on the lower mountain greens before we jump in the car for the drive home. Well, 
we've managed to cover a lot on our West Coast Odyssey, but there are a million reasons to come back to this incredible place and enjoy even more of what's on offer. We recommend bumping it to the very top of your bucket list, booking that plane or boat, even swimming across the Bass Strait if you have to. Come down for air. 